Are you tired of whiffing? Do you want to aim like an absolute beast? Well, look no further because I may have the perfect solution for you. Hey, this is your fair Radiant Zero, and I'm here to bring you guys an in-depth and honest review of one of the top aim trainers on the market, AimBeast. In this video, I'll go in-depth on the features within AimBeast, the best warm-up playlist, how it matches up against other aim trainers like AimLabs and Kovacs, and much more. Just to be clear, although this is a sponsored video, these are my own opinions and aren't influenced by AimBeast in any way. So without further ado, let's get right into the review. First things first, I'll explain exactly why I think AimBeast is so great for improving in Valorant specifically. So AimBeast and Valorant both run on Unreal Engine 4, signifying that the input is completely one-to-one. -one. What this means is that the same mouse movements will map identically in both games, drastically improving the consistency of your aim training. The game also has a sensitivity and FOV scale that matches up exactly with Valorant so you can get the most accurate aim training possible. Another helpful feature of AimBeast is its focus on multiple aspects of aim training, such as clicking, switching, and tracking. As a result, you're able to isolate different aspects of aiming into different scenarios, helping you improve each skill separately. Since the most prominent type of aiming in Valorant is horizontal click timing, I would recommend prioritizing those scenarios, which luckily AimBeast has a lot of. There are many great routines, such as the Valorant Radiant warm-up, as well as a CSGO, Fortnite, and a general clicking routine to get your aim warmed up. My favorite one, however, is the TRM Valorant routine, which is incredibly fun and translates directly into Valorant. This routine focuses on the skills necessary for aiming in Valorant, such as micro adjustments and tap firing at different ranges, which is ideal for improving your accuracy with rifles. Although not as many, there are scenarios in the routine for tracking, perfect for helping you deal with those annoying running gunners. I suggest listening to music and randomizing the order that the scenarios come in to help you through the 60 minute routine. If this feels like too much of a time commitment, or if you're lazy just like I am, I would suggest that you use the 15 minute warm up version which is shorter and focuses more on warming up the motions rather than training them. I recommend that you do two 15 minute routines, one before and one after playing. While the improvement will be slower compared to training one hour a day, the most important thing is that you are consistent in your training, so keep plugging in to track your progress. Overall, AIMBY's TRM routine is in my opinion one of the best and easiest ways to train your aiming skills needed to help you improve in Valorant. Moving on to one of the best qualities of AimBeast, unrivaled by any other aim trainer, and that is its UI and optimizations. The game runs insanely smooth at very high FPS counts due to the optimizations of the game. This performance allows you to train in ideal conditions without the often choppy response times in other aim trainers. Also, browsing the menu to find scenarios is an absolute breeze, as each scenario has filters such as type, difficulty, and verified that make the specific maps easy to find. Speaking of which, AimBeast has its very own verifying systems that validate community-made scenarios based on their usefulness, so you train only with the best maps. AimBeast's super clean and minimalistic HUD design is very hard to beat in my opinion, as it makes the menu easy to navigate and the aim training very straightforward. Now let's go over how to find the best scenarios and routines in AimBeast for you. A scenario is simply a specific map, while a routine is a collection of distinct scenarios grouped together, like the TRM Valorant routine I mentioned earlier. You can also make your own routines by simply going into the routine tab, changing the mode from workshop to local, and then adding your favorite maps. When you found or made a routine you enjoy, remember that if it ever gets boring, you can alter the order of the scenarios by shuffling the playlist or by changing the number of reps of each map. What I recommend doing is starting off with a pre-made routine and favoriting the scenarios you find most helpful to ensure you're only playing the best maps. Another neat feature of AimBeast is its unique map editor, which allows you to make your own scenarios and then upload it to the workshop for your friends to play. You have the ability to customize the bot movement patterns, layouts, textures, your gun, and much more. Needless to say, AimBeast offers a lot of options in regards to the routines and ways to personalize them to maximize the value of your aim training. Now that you understand how to aim train in AimBeast, let's talk about the different ways you can track your progress. The easiest way is to simply look at the graphs provided that give feedback after completing a scenario. The graphs give you the option to change the time period from one day, one week, or one month so you can properly assess your improvement. The graphs also allow filters such as score, accuracy, kills, and more so you can get a full picture of the progress. My advice when reading the graphs is to not focus on the score and instead prioritizing metrics such as accuracy and time to kill since these will more directly translate into your Valorant aim. AimBeast also provides an integrated ranked experience in the game so your performance is tracked against other players on a constantly changing leaderboard. After completing a scenario, you'll be placed in a rank from Bronze all the way up to Grandmaster. Although you shouldn't worry about your rank too much, it is helpful for tracking your improvement in specific skills such as clicking and switching, and for motivating yourself to improve on a daily basis. Ranging from graphs to ranks to leaderboards, it is clear that AimBeast is packed with countless different ways to accurately evaluate just how much you're improving. Now, let's go in depth on the feature of AimBeast that makes it stand out the most, which is its huge range of customization options. 
There are countless different settings you can personalize to make your aim training sessions as effective as possible. To begin, there is a large range of crosshair customization settings which lets you recreate your Valorant crosshairs easily. In addition, there is the option to change the color of your targets to the color of your enemies in Valorant. My favorite feature, however, is the huge variety of customization options that can be applied to the theme of the background. Aimbeast gives you the ability to change the color, texture, scale, contrast, and more. You can then save these themes to multiple presets and then use the ones to help you focus the best. Furthermore, you can also fully customize the sky color, HUD settings, and kill sounds to that of your liking. Two neat features that may benefit you are the in-game metronome and sensitivity randomizer, if you prefer these methods of aim training. As I explained in my aim training guide, the metronome method can be a great way to improve your mouse control and accuracy, as it prevents you from over flicking. With that said, this is only the surface of all the settings you can personalize for the most consistent aim training possible. An important question to ask is, how does Aimbees compare to other aim trainers on the market, such as Aimlab and Kovacs? Well, luckily for you, I have done the research and this is how I think the aim trainers stack up against each other. Let's start with the UI, which I think is a major aspect to consider when choosing an aim trainer. When you load up Aimlab, you're instantly bombarded by pop-ups and updates, most of which you don't care about, alongside the multiple additional features such as the events and in-game store. All of this can feel overwhelming and make the game difficult to navigate, which takes away from the main focus of aim training. While Kovacs does have some UI customization settings, due to its basic design, it isn't too appealing. That's why out of all the aim trainers, Aimbeast takes the cake for having the most sleek and easy to use interface, earning itself a point. In terms of smoothness and responsiveness, Kovacs and Aimbeast utilize Unreal Engine, while Aimlabs uses Unity. While playing all three, I've noticed that Kovacs and Aimbeast were significantly smoother and more responsive than Aimlabs, which made the aim training experience a lot more enjoyable. Simply switching through the tabs in Aimlabs feels very delayed and the scenario search bar also feels very slow. As a simple test, I tried spamming restarts in all three games, and it's easy to see that while Kovacs and Aimlabs slow down, Aimbeast remains instantaneous with zero FPS drops. With all this said, I believe it's fair to award Aimbeast the win with his buttery smooth gameplay and give Kovacs half a point. When it comes to progress tracking, Kovacs and Aimbeast mostly focus on your leaderboard placement and score while containing some graphs so you can analyze your improvement over time. Aimlabs however goes beyond this as they show you your weaknesses and suggestions on how to improve upon them. Aimlabs also has a training frequency chart that displays your consistency and how often you aim train. So when it comes to tracking your progress and improvement, I would say that Aimlabs deserves the point. As for the amount of scenarios that each have, Kovacs comes out on top with its tens of thousands of scenarios due to their large community. Aimlabs comes in at a close second with Aimbeast trailing behind. However, it's important to not get hung up on the number of scenarios, but rather on their usefulness and how much they'll help you improve. In my experience, most of the scenarios I played in Aimlab felt ineffective in improving my aim and Valorant as they felt more like minigames rather than training scenarios. Kovacs and Aimbeast on the other hand both offer scenarios that properly isolate and train your aim and mouse movements. Out of the three, Kovacs has the best scenarios for refining your aim, so it earns a point. And last but not least, customization. Aimbeast has many customizations, including advanced crosshair settings, a large collection of walls and floor themes with custom presets, box colors, sky colors, sound effects, metronomes, sensitivity randomizers, and so much more. You can even make your own scenarios, but I'm too dumb to know how to do that, so I just play the pre-made ones. Despite Kovacs having some of these features and Aimlabs offering only a few, Aimbeast is by far the most intuitive, making it extremely easy to customize everything. For these reasons, I would say that Aimbeast definitely takes the point here. And the biggest difference between the three is that Aimbeast, in my opinion, is just the most fun. I have over 600 hours on Kovacs from the last couple of years of aim training and only a couple of hours in Aimlabs. I've noticed that the biggest deciding factor of aim training for me is whether I'm enjoying it or not. I would not recommend forcing yourself to aim train as you will eventually become lazy and quit altogether. For this reason, I would never open up Aimlabs as it really wasn't enjoyable or engaging. Aimbeast, on the other hand, simply felt like an improved version of Kovacs. With its wide variety of customizations and clean UI, I was motivated and genuinely had fun aim training. Consistency is a huge factor of aim training. Remember that it is always better to aim train every day for 15 minutes than to cram 4 hours once in a while. It goes without saying that a premium software will come with a premium price tag. However, I can confidently say that the insanely smooth gameplay and the extensive set of features makes Aimbeast worth every penny. For the price of just one skin, you can get the only aim trainer you'll ever need. And if you're watching this video within the first few weeks of the upload, then click the link in the description to take advantage of the huge 60% Steam discount sale going on right now. It's free real estate. All things considered, if you're serious about aim training and want to genuinely improve your aim, I would highly recommend trying Aimbeast as I can honestly say that it provides the most enjoyable aim training experience I've ever had. Shoutouts to everyone that recently boosted my Discord server, link will be in the description below. If you're struggling with picking up game sense, consider watching my in-depth game sense video. If you found this guide helpful, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Peace.